Hey guys, Jim here, coming back with another video. Today I am doing a response video for Greg over at GW573. Greg is doing a giveaway and he is asking us to show our top 10 favorite cards in our collection. Um, if you don't know Greg and his channel, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, if you're not familiar with the channel, please go over there, check it out. Uh, Greg's a, a really nice guy. He's very supportive of myself and many others. And so I just wanted to show my support for him and do this response video. Um, Greg's at about 95 subscribers right now. It'd be great to see him get up over 100. But um, he's just, um, you know, just likes to show his cards like the rest of us. He's into vintage, but he also does some newer stuff too. Uh, big common killer brew collector and um, I Enjoy watching his videos. So um, if you're not familiar with him give him a check out. I think you might like it, too Anyway, I'm gonna start off here with um, my newest to oldest I I went through my cards and I ended up with a stack of over 20 cards And so I had to whittle it down to 10. I actually have 11 here But one of them the last one I showed technically is not a card. So um, but I'm gonna show it anyway but um, I'm going to start off here with uh, newest to oldest. So the first one is this beautiful 1984 Flare Update Kirby Pocket. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the 1984 Flare set. I like the design. Um, I really like the image here of uh, a young Kirby. Um, just pretty, pretty neat the way he's posed there. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, Anybody who has ever played high school baseball probably has posed for a photo in a similar fashion at one time or another. And so there's that 1984 Flare Update Kirby Bucket. Next up, I'm going to show you this 1980 Tops Ricky Henderson rookie card. Um, very nice card. Um, it's mid grade um, and it is, you know, a very popular card in the hobby being Ricky Henderson rookie card. But for me, the reason why this is one of the favorite cards in my collection is because I actually had this card as a kid. I actually pack pulled this card and um, about a year or so ago, I sent it into PSA and had it graded. And so this card is actually from my childhood collection. So that um, for that reason, Mainly, it is one of my favorite cards that I have in, in my collection today as well. Next up is a 1978 rookie card of Eddie Murray. Just a um, really nice set. I like the, the 78 set. I love that um, nice tops um, gold cup, rookie cup there in the bottom. And I think it's just a great image of Murray. Really, um, you know, shows the intensity that he had as a player and um, just think it's a really cool card. It's a card that I've always liked and um, I would classify it as one of my favorites. So next up, I'm gonna go down to 1969, another great looking um, Topps Gold All-Star Ricky Cup card. I guess this would technically be a All-Star Trophy card. But anyway, 1969 tops Johnny Bench, just uh, a great image. Uh, just love seeing Bench there in his crouch with his catcher's mitt and um, the colors really stand out to me on his jersey, uh, the old school jersey there and um, uniform. And um, just the background looks like maybe spring training somewhere with the um, advertising signs in the background there i'm guessing this was probably taken at a spring training site but um just a beautiful card and very likely to have that one next up this is the 1961 tops carl yastrzemski um so yes as, as most of you who watch my videos know is my um my main guy that i collect and um i do have his rookie card as well but um to me, this uh, second year card is much nicer. I, I really like the, the card. Um, you know, it's like an artist's rendition here, kind of almost like a painting or whatever. 
and just think it's a great image just looks like a kid there in that image and um, I also like the the star rookie logo there at the top and so this is one of my favorite cards of Yaz actually and um, definitely one of my favorite cards in my collection without a doubt next up this is a card uh, 1955 Sandy Koufax um, just a classic card um, you know just a great card for for any collector everyone just loves this card and myself included um, you know this is a card that I never really thought that I would own and um, feel very fortunate um, that I was I had an opportunity to purchase this card earlier this year and um, very fortunate very lucky to have it um, just such a great picture um, someone who really you know accomplished a lot in a short time that he played and um, I just think it's pretty cool I like the image there with his foot like this this huge foot that he has up on the top of the dugout step so just a great card again um, just very happy and fortunate to have that card and really love it next up is a 1954 Bowman Mickey Mantle just another beautiful card um, just a great image mix sitting there smiling away got the, the nice colors of the sky in the background and the, obviously the facsimile auto at the bottom of the card just a beautiful card from a beautiful set and um, probably will be the closest I ever get to a Mantle rookie card being his third year card fourth year card whatever it is so there's that next um, is this beautiful 1953 Bowman Pee Wee Reese and so this is another classic card in the hobby um, from what I understand this is the first action image on a baseball card and it, what a great image it is of Pee Wee Reese leaping over the runner who looks like he's barreling into second base and um, getting ready to throw on to first base to complete a double play possibly not sure um, it's my understanding that this um, image was also one that was taken from a spring training game so again just another beautiful card from another beautiful set and so this next one is one that you guys these next two actually are ones that you guys have seen recently um, this 1948 Leaf Joe DiMaggio just another beautiful looking card I always you know I bought this card raw I'm sure most of you guys who watch my videos will remember I bought this card raw and had it graded it came back as being altered and initially I was a little upset about that but you know as the more I thought about it I mean it's just such a such a beautiful card I mean I love the blue um, on his on his sleeves there um, just a just a great color nice image uh, you know one of the game's all-time great players and so also another beautiful set the 48 leaf set is just a just a really simple but beautiful set and so there's that one and then um, lastly I just showed this card it just came back from PSA a few weeks ago um, this is the 1909 E92 Crofts Candy Eddie Collins card. Just another great card. It's uh, in great condition for the age of it. And, um, you know, it's, um, the, you know, the food and beverage type card set from Croft Candies. And so um, just a great image of Eddie Collins smiling there with his old school hat and Hayes jersey. Great green background and definitely one of my favorite cards in my collection and so that was the 10 my 10 favorites and I also always try to show this whenever I get the opportunity um, because I really love this it's a 1938 Dixie Lids Carl Hubble 
And so this is a Dixie lid. So for you guys that are not familiar with these, this was actually the lid of an ice cream cup. So, you know, back in the 30s, you could go, you know, buy a little ice cream cup at the store and here's the little pull tab here and you would pull this off and, you know, you would eat your ice cream and then, you know, they had the image of the, the players here, which, you know, obviously were collectibles. And as you can see on the back, Hoodsy, Hoods, Hoods ice cream. Uh, it was not less than three fluid ounces in there. Good for young and old. And um, I just think this is just awesome. I uh, really like the Dixie lids. I'd like to actually at some point, if I ever get the opportunity, I would definitely pick up some more. Um, and so that's what I got. Um, those are my 10 favorites plus the Dixie lid. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.